Zane Claude Felcher with Otters TV here with Bryce Weiler. Uh, you are organizing this event here tonight, a great night of uh, wiffle ball going on here at Bossy Field. So tell us about this night and why you decided to, to put it together. Well, thanks to the Evansville Otters owner, Mr. Bill Bussing, for wanting to give these disabled individuals chances to play on a baseball field and to be able to do things with the Otters players here at, at Bossy Field. So just giving individuals chances to do things in, in their life that they might not uh, be able to do, especially with the first group. Uh, Jacobs Village, Matt's uh, Highland Challenger league team who's playing in front of us now. They they play baseball on a pretty regular basis on Sundays, but the group at, at Jacobs Village, they don't really have the opportunity to do that as much. And also showing the Otters players that there's people in the world who don't have a chance to, to play sports every day. And while they're playing in the Frontier League and it might not be where they want to be, they shouldn't take that for granted because there's people out there who would take doing that any day. Very, very cool. Now, I first met you uh, at the University of Evansville. You were a student broadcaster for WUEV. I was doing public address. And since you graduated from UE, you've done so many things. So tell us about your travels. So I went to graduate school at Western Illinois, studied sports administration. I got to commentate some games at Western Illinois, not as many as I did when I was at Evansville. I got to commentate a women's basketball game with your one of your commentators, Preston, in December of 2014. Preston Manoa, he's a good guy, right? He is a really excellent commentator who can describe what's happening in the action. I, I really enjoy the, the fifth inning and also listening to, to Sam commentate. There are days when I turn the Otters game on just to listen to Sam and Preston or Sam by himself. I mean, those are, those are definitely one of the draws along with listening to Mr. Bussing's players but having having good commentators who will tell you what's happening in the game but also paint themselves as actual people not just individuals who show up and sit in a booth and commentate baseball games kind of like you used to do and still do here at Bossy Field when you have the in between inning games really showing yourself as a person but finished up my graduate school at Western Illinois where I studied sports administration and started working for the Orioles in Baltimore, helping make Camden Yards more accessible for disabled fans and making the Orioles Spring Training Stadium, uh, Ed Smith Stadium, more accessible and enjoyable for disabled fans. Uh, then after that, I started doing programs for the New Britain Bees, worked to make New Britain Stadium more accessible and giving disabled individuals chances to play on the field as I'm doing here at Bossy Field this evening with the Evansville Otters. Yeah, and you're wearing a New Britain hat, so if we can get a zoom in on that, yeah, showing that off here. So uh, what's oh the God. future plans for you? What are you going oh to keep God. doing this and raising awareness? So I'm oh helping my. run a nonprofit called The Beautiful Lives Project. Our yes. website is www.beautifullives.org if anyone would like to look at that. So we're doing more than just programs uh, for sports with disabled individuals. We're doing programs with music for disabled individuals, experiencing things before a concert, doing things with dance teams, cheerleading teams. And if there's any... Um, requests out there people want to do like maybe having some sort of a cooking exhibition with like disabled people giving them a chance to learn how to cook gumbo or fried chicken or something they wanted to do i'm always open to filling whatever someone wants to do because that always makes it easier than say deciding i want to do something with the evansville otters and then you have to go out and convince the owner mr bussing or whomever to, to do that event and then find the people so it's all, always easier if you can have half of that uh, do all come to you, whether it's the individuals to do the event or the event itself. Well, Bryce, it's great having you at Boss Sea Field for this special night. It's good seeing you again. I'm glad you have my cell phone number, <laughs> and, <laughs> and we'll be talking to you very soon. He's Bryce. I'm Zane. This has been Otters TV.